And we are live. Good morning, kids. Welcome to the morning walk live on the YouTube. I like the YouTube better. It's better quality. Uh, it streams better. It's better for you guys. It's Thursday. Also, we got to keep this shit brief. I just, I talk too long. It's so overindulgent. I'm going to knock that shit off. Um, and there's Lenore, who is just willing to knock her brother over to get to something that smells interesting. Um, so, what's up today? Govern- uh, government. President Biden uh, is helping some people out with student loan debt. And there are some, I would imagine, most thinking people are thrilled about this. But then there are others, of course, usually uh, Republicans or conservatives who have a problem with it. You know, it's not fair. Like, it's not fair to people who had to pay off their student loan debt all their own. And then, like, suddenly now there's this new generation of people and their 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 debt's going to be relieved. They're really they don't have the debt. It's like, well, that's life. Shit isn't fair. Life. Oh, you're new here. Oh, OK. Uh, life isn't fair. Welcome to the party. <laughs> you know, is it fair? Well, I can go on. A lot of things aren't fair, but I think it's fantastic. And I think, um, uh, it was my, uh, friend on Instagram, Richie Jackson said really well, uh, yesterday he tweeted that something like, you know, it took him a long time to pay off. He paid off his student loan debt. Uh, but, you know, doesn't wish that hell on anybody else. And thinks it's great. And I'm with him. I was very fortunate. I did not have any student loan debt. Um, so. Oh, God. The helicopter. Is... Honestly, you guys, it might be the helicopters might drive me out of the Upper West Side. It drives me that crazy. Maybe just a different neighbor. You can't enjoy Central Park without some asshole in a helicopter. Blowing fumes and noise up your ass. You cannot enjoy Central Park anymore without a helicopter kind of ruining it. And hopefully Jerry Nadler will get somewhere with it. Or somebody will because it fucking sucks. Um, So yeah, I think it's great news that um, there's going to be relief for people with student loan debt. What is it, 10 grand for anybody making under less than 175K a year, something like that? I think it's terrific. Uh, Scotland is in the house. Are you going to do a What About Me video regarding student loan debt? I might. Uh, um, let's see, some recipients deem it chump change. Listen, they're always gonna be, there's always going to be a cadre that's the right word. There will always be a crowd, a constituency for whom anything the government does is never enough. That's why, you know, America is a pop is a country of spoiled brats. There will always be entitled, spoiled, entitled brats. It's chump change. That's 10 grand isn't chump change to a lot of people. It's something, you know, you take it. You wanted a hundred grand, somebody gave you 10 or 20 grand. You take it and be grateful. Shut the fuck up. Spoiled little bitches. Um, so yeah. I have tons of student loan debt and the plan announced yesterday doesn't impact me and yet I still support it because it helps other people. Also love the, thank you. Uh, Christopher, Bruno, I really like your perspective there. Thank you. Good morning, Jane. Donna, hi kids. Um, I think it's great news. I fully support it. I'm really happy for people who are going to get some relief here. Is it everything? No. Does that mean we should bitch and whine and moan and complain? No, shut the fuck up. 
there will always be people who want to bitch and moan and complain, you know. I want to see the, I want to see if they have the I need to speak to the manager haircut. The people bitching about this, I want to see the haircut. Is it one of those I need to speak to the manager hairstyles? Because you know the hairstyle I'm talking about. <laughs> I, can I speak to the manager? Lenora, where are you pulling me to? We're not going anywhere, honey bunny. Um, I've talked about this before, and I think it's kind of great. Um, but over here, I'm over at the Delacour Theater where Shakespeare in the Park is. Lenore, really, do you have to test the limits of the leash? Um, right behind me is like a snack shack, you know, a snack bar. I just had, I sounded true Ohio there. A snack bar? Right behind me is a snack bar. And it's the public theater situation, and it's nice stuff, actually. There's salads there. I would imagine the hot dogs, if you're a hot dog eating person, are really good. You can get a brewski, some wine, coffee, um, or an non-alcoholic beverage. Um, it's nice. And this is for people who are waiting in line um, or, you know, coming to see the public theater or anybody. Like, I can go get a snack, and it's, you know, nice. And it's not even 11 a.m. How chic is that? So, yeah. So, walking along, enjoying a morning stroll. Look at the, how brown the grass is. It's been a little dry. And I think, you know, it's like any grassy real estate where, you you know, you water parts of it. You, do, you water it in pieces. This needs a little TLC with the hose. Um, and hasn't gotten any yet. And that's okay. Gosh. If I didn't have breakfast at home, I'd go get myself a snack just to see what it's like, but I'm not going to. So, yeah, today's big news is about um, uh, relief of student loan debt, which is fantastic. It's all a positive. And then, of course, the chief in Uvalde was let go, as he should be. Bye-bye. Um, yeah. Someone's got to go down. That's the optics. And it's appropriate that it's him. Is he directly at fault? I don't know. But someone's got to go down. And that's, you know, that's the rules with the optics. All right, guys, let's go sit in the shade and have a chat. So I don't have to pull it. I got this selfie stick and I never use it. It's sitting in a drawer. Um, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um... guys up to plastic surgery poke <laughs> 10k was a re-enlistment bonus for me and I like that great uh, I have tons of student loans uh, oh yeah we already talked about that okay good yeah just making sure we're all caught up so um, let's see we got about 11 and a half minutes left I'm gonna keep this what am I talking about? I'm going to do like a six and a half minutes. I want to keep these really short. I talked too long. Yesterday I went on for like over a half hour. That's stupid. Um, hmm. I read this piece in the New Yorker uh, this morning about, there's that great book, Manhattan, about the sort of history of the island of Manhattan you know, the geographic, natural history of it. And it's kind of fabulous, like what this island once was. I wonder what the, like, I would love to know what some of the old, oldest trees are. Well, the New Yorker, my point was, the New Yorker tweeted this link uh, to a, a story from its archive back in 2007, two years before the Manahatta book came out. And uh, it's a fascinating read about the history of the island. I love it. It's not even 11 a.m. we got a full face of makeup on and a leather skirt. I think we really got a... That's a very heavily produced morning walk over there. Very sparkly and bedazzled, too. Um, uh, if we didn't love listening to you, we wouldn't be here. Talk as long as you want. <laughs> You're very sweet. I believe it's up to 20K for those recipients of Pell Grant. Of course, double check. Um, 
yeah, it's all good. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm so jazzed for people. So anyway, um, yeah, Peace in the New Yorker about uh, Manhattan. I want to read that book. I never bought it back in 09 when it came out. That stuff fascinates me. Um, it's going to be hot again today in the 90s. Ugh. Oh, and I'm wearing shorts today. Don't tell anybody. I'm not someone who wears shorts in the city. I have a real thing about it. I don't like to wear shorts unless I'm doing something that's legitimately athletic, like riding my bike, like going on a bike ride. I'm not a shorts person unless I'm out of the city. No. However, there are some people who just like wear shorts every chance they get, like they live in shorts. I'm not that person. I think I have pretty decent legs, like the shape of my legs is decent. Lenore, relax. Uh, it's got nothing to do with you. That's got nothing to do with you. No. Sit. 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 Um, hey, sit. Lenore, sit. 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 Oh, she's being very resistant today. Lenore, sit. Oh, God. Um, uh, Pete Hamill, great writer, New York writer. Um, died recently, right? A couple of years ago, in the last couple of years. Am I dating anyone? No. The rule is, if I like someone, he either doesn't like me back, or he's otherwise engaged, like prefer someone else. Like, that's the rule. That's how that goes. That's, I must have done something really bad in a past life, and I'm paying for it now. I'm thinking that's probably it. Like in a past life, I must have been a horrible person with relationships or mean. And I was made to pay a penalty for that in this time around. That's a, that's what's going on there. Yeah. Um, also, take, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very... I'm weird when it comes to relationships. Not that I ever really have any, you know... Interesting. Let's see. And that's it. Um, I am going to uh, take these kids home in a little bit. We're going to do our thing. We're going to do our day. I may go, since it's so hot today, I may have to go see um, a movie. You know, because I love going into a movie, an air-conditioned movie theater. Having a little soda, a little cola, a little snack, some popcorn, and a nice air-conditioned movie theater. Hopefully. Makes me so happy. Um, I just became a member at New York uh, Lincoln Center, at uh, film at Lincoln Center. I am now officially a member, which feels good. I've taken my time doing that. It's all pandemic related. Like I want to, you know, reignite my memberships at like MoMA, the Whitney, the Met, all that shit. Because I like membership and I like to support the arts and. Um, I like to support the arts and, um, you know, things like that. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, dogs out. Look at those beautiful lab mixes. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to those who have pressed that little like tip jar button at the bottom of the video on YouTube. I really appreciate that. Um, anyway, I forgot to do this on my Patreon. <laughs> and also you can go to my Patreon and be a subscriber there. It's uh, patreon.com slash George Hahn. Um, is anything happening with Lincoln Plaza? I wish, I wish someone would do something with that space. I mean, there's, it's all there. God, I wish Lincoln Plaza were sore around. I loved going there. Yeah. Their popcorn was always so good too. Never over buttered. It was always tasted fresh. It wasn't like yesterday's popcorn reheated or anything, which is what AMC theaters taste like. God, AMC Theater's popcorn sucks. It's so bad. 
and I eat it anyway because it's just like you know I have to choose something when I watch a movie. I mean, don't we all? Um, mm, I mean, I love watching stuff at home. I love the streaming thing, but I also love to get out. It's important to get out. You've got to get out of the house. Hi. Okay. Anyway. I'm going to take these freak shows home. And, um, hustle up a little breakfast for myself. Sorry, guys. I didn't really, like, I didn't plan on what to talk about today, and I'm not feeling terribly inspired. Um... I do have some things on my mind. I have, like, every once in a while, I go through my existential crisis, like, what the fuck? Well, like, what, like one of those, like, why do I bother just so I can entertain a handful of people for free every day? Like, what the fuck am I doing? It's nice that people like it, but, like, yeah. <sighs> I got shit to figure out. All right, I'll see you guys later.